What's going on everyone and welcome to another video. I hope you're having a wonderful day. I'm Bows Phoenix and today we're going to take a little field trip to the Tenno Relay. So I've been noticing a consistent comment in my videos pretty much since I started making them. In almost every bill video I've put up, at least a handful of people have asked me something along the lines of, what's that place you test your builds in? Or how do you get to that build testing room? Well, worry not guys, I'm here to answer all your questions. Originally, I was only going to show you guys how to enter the place, and it's called the Simulacrum. But I got to thinking as I do, and I figured it'd be pretty helpful to newer players if I gave you guys a full relay tour and showed you some of the things you can do in these places. Let's start with the basics. First, if you're super new to the game, think of the relays like a town or a city in any RPG. They're a neutral zone where players can come together, hang out, or in the special case of Maru's Bazaar on Earth, they can even trade items with one another. Next, there are several relays in the game, but not every planet has one. My go-to is Pluto, but note that you have to be at least Mastery Rank 8 to travel here by yourself. If you have a higher level friend though, they can bring you with them. This is often known as being taxied. As far as I can remember, the other relays don't have an MR requirement. Moving on, there are several things you can do with the relay. Our first stop is the Barrow Katir area. Barrow Katir is the void trader in the game, and every other Friday he brings unique items that can only be acquired from him by using a special currency currency called ducats. You can earn ducats by trading in prime parts from the void at this kiosk. If you want to know more about Barrow, Mogamu, whom you've probably heard of, has a series on his YouTube channel that covers Barrow's items every time he visits. I definitely recommend checking it out if you're new to the game. Our next stop in the relay are the syndicate rooms. Located on the first floor of the relay, every syndicate in the game has a headquarters in every relay. Also, I should probably note at this time that there aren't really any differences between one relay or another. They're all pretty much the same. In these rooms, you can trade your standing points for the rewards your syndicate offers. You can do this from the terminal in your list set, but what you can't do in your list set is turn in the marks you find in your syndicate missions. You'll need to come to the relay for that. Each syndicate has these marks, and you can find them randomly hidden throughout your various syndicate missions. They vary in value, and you can turn them into this guy for extra standing points. Also, on the first floor of every relay is the Conclave Room. This is similar to the Syndicate Headquarter Rooms, except that this is the only place you can trade your Conclave standing and increase your rank. There isn't a terminal in your list set for this yet. While you're here, you can also initiate Conclave matches without having to return to your ship. Now, if you walk next door, you'll find the Mission Control Room, and here, you can select missions from the star map just like you would from your list set. There isn't really much else of note in here though, let's move on. Outside of the mission control room, you'll notice two elevators. One goes up and one goes down. If you take the elevator to the second floor, you'll find our last two rooms. The first one we'll be taking a look at is the Darvo deal shop. You can see these deals from the market, but Darvo's shop is pretty cool and it's nice to pay him a visit sometimes. Also, when talking to Darvo, you can initiate a mission to help Clem once a week, and in return, you'll receive a stack of Clem Spectre blueprints. The next room on the second floor is probably the main reason I come to the relays most of the time. This is the Cephalon Samaris room, and in here, there's a lot of different things to check out. Firstly, you can talk to Cephalon Samaris himself, who is an NPC that offers several quests, one of which is necessary to complete if you want the Chroma Warframe. A lot of his other stuff revolves around using the scanner that he gives you to scan enemies for research. These quests and scans also give you reputation, which is important because you need reputation to buy a key for the Simulacrum. The Simulacrum is the room that you see near the end of all my build videos. It's here that all the enemies you fully researched by scanning them are cataloged, which you can then replicate to fight. One more thing to check out before you go is the Mastery Test Area. Walking into these terminals will allow you to retake any Mastery Rank test you've already taken. This can be useful if you come upon a particularly tricky Mastery test that you want to retake without fear of incurring the 24-hour retake penalty for failing. And that's about it, guys. I know a lot of you are probably already familiar with the relays, but from the amount of comments I've been getting asking questions about it, I had to assume that there are a large majority of my viewers who weren't really sure what all you could do here. I'm pretty sure I covered just about everything, but if you have helpful tips for the new players, make sure to leave them in the comments. Also, I really enjoy making these guide videos for you guys that I've been putting out lately. If there's anything else you'd like me to create a walkthrough for, let me know in the comments as well. That's it for now though, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to support it with a like, and if you're new here, consider subscribing. I put out Warframe content on a daily basis, and your support helps me continue that. But for now, I'm Bows Phoenix. I'll see you at the next video, and as always, thank you guys so much for watching.